Hello everyone, it's Molly here again. Again, I'm in like a slightly different spot in my office. Um, I don't know, I just like to change it up a little bit. I'm in like a super cozy, oversized, fluffy cardigan and I feel like I'm being hugged by a polar bear but like a really friendly one that's not going to attack me and I love it. But I'm also at the same time really hot but I don't want to take it off because I'm really comfortable. So. I'm living with it. As you can see from the title, I am doing the VIP tag, or the, I believe, it's called Visually Impaired People tag. It was started by, I believe, Chatty Shelby, I believe, that's her name. Um, I'll leave her channel down below, but she tagged me to do this a really long time ago, and um, for some reason it's just taken me a really long time to get around to it. I wanted to do an RP Q&A following my last video which was my RP update and what I really see which I'll also link down below in case you haven't seen that um, but I don't know I just wasn't feeling it um, to film right now so that'll definitely be one of my next few videos if you have any questions following that video now that I'm announcing that I'm doing an RP Q&A video about either just the disease in general or my journey with the disease, feel free to tweet me or tweet me <laughs> or comment below, I guess. Um, yeah, so I have not read through these questions. I just like literally copied and pasted from her video. And so we're just gonna read them together and see where it takes us. One, what medical condition caused you to be blind or visually impaired? Retinitis pigmentosa tulip 1 is the main condition, um, but I also have nystagmus, which is when your eyes are all shaky and light sensitive, and I also have um, been treated for strabismus, which is the fancy word for what is more commonly known as a lazy eye. Um, I had surgery to correct that. I also um, had... Uh, like farsightedness and nearsightedness and a couple other things, but for, like the disease that has mainly caused me to have sight issues, my most major sight issues is my retinitis pigmentosa. Two in three words describe your vision. Fascinating. Unique. Hmm. Fascinating, unique. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go with two words. Fascinating and unique. Three, what is the hardest thing to do when you're blind or visually impaired? Honestly, I always say it, but it's to me it's like those little things. Um, that may not might not be as hard anymore, but were definitely hard when I lost my vision. Like just figuring out how to put your toothpaste on a toothbrush, like those little small things that you you as a sighted person when you're used to using your sight for it, you don't realize how much you're using your sight for it. It's it's just the eye-hand coordination thing. And another thing that I find very difficult is um, it's just body language and, and maybe being in a loud environment and meeting new people when I can't hear them that well and I can't see them. So, I, you know, it's Christmas time. I've been going to a lot of Christmas parties with my family and it can be really nerve-wracking being in an environment where I don't know many people and it's loud and I'm meeting a bunch of new people and I can't see if they're going out to shake my hand or if they're going for a hug or if they're waving, you know, what they're doing when they're saying hello to me. And um, yeah, so just body language is definitely tricky because, you know, 90% of communication is nonverbal and we're missing a huge chunk of that. So that's definitely something I find tricky. Four, what is the best part about being blind or visually impaired? I love that this is one of the questions because I think there's lots of benefits. I have met so many incredible people um, with RP or who are blind or visually impaired for other reasons who are so incredible that I would have never met if I didn't um, live in the blind community. Um, I get to bring my guide dog everywhere with me, my adorable cute fluffy dog. I get to take everywhere with me all of the time. Um, I don't judge people on their uh, physical appearance, like I, I can't make those snap judgments that as a sighted person you can't necessarily help but make. And I feel like I have the opportunity to live life in a very unique way and I get to take what I've lived with and educate and, and help other people with it. So I don't know, I see lots of benefits. 
Five, what questions you get asked about most because of your vision. Um, hmm. uh, how do I do my makeup? <laughs> I don't know why I even had to think about that. Definitely, how do you do your makeup? I get asked that every time I walk out the door and somebody finds out that I'm blind. They're like, what? How do you do your makeup? That's always what people want to know. Which, by the way, if, oh, sorry, computer's talking. If you want to know how I do my makeup, I have a blind girl makeup tutorial that I will link below. Six, do you have a cane, a guide dog, or neither? Technically, I guess I have both because, you know, you have to have a cane typically to get a guide dog. My cane is hot pink, it's pretty fancy. And, of course, I'm on my second guide dog. I'll link my doggy vloggy, everything guide dogs playlist down below. Sorry, I feel like I'm shouting out so many of my other videos, but what else? Um, yeah, so I have my guide dog. He's sitting, sitting down at the couch, at the end of the couch, and his name is Gallop. And I had my first guide dog for seven years. Her name was Gypsy. I have a tribute video for her. It's pretty cute. Seven, what advice would you give to somebody who has lost or is going to lose their vision? Um, the advice that I always give to people um, when I'm talking to other people who might be going blind, it's, it's a very scary process. It's terrifying. I've been through it, I know. Um, and you can feel so alone. And you can, you can really feel like it's the end of your life. And for me, I did. You know, I, I really contemplated suicide. And I know people with visual impairments or who are blind are three times more likely to live with mental illness. So a lot of other blind and visually impaired people feel that way as well, really struggle with depression. They get into a really dark place and it can be really hard to get out of that dark place. And we are definitely, like I said, at more risk for it. Three times more to be exact. And you know, I really, I had to go through a grieving process of letting go of the person that I thought I was going to be and finding an entirely new Molly inside of me. And my advice is just to let yourself have that grieving process. That's okay. Feel those feelings. Let it out. Don't bottle it up because it's only going to come back and bite you in the butt if you do. Bottling up feelings, this goes for anybody, visually impaired or not, you know, bottling up feelings is not good. And if you just let yourself grieve and feel that loss and that pain, and then overcome it. Rise above it and push on. Keep living despite it. And to realize that going blind is not the end of your life. It's just the start of a new life. It's the start of a new journey. Yeah. Eight, what is one piece of advice you would give to a sighted person who's acting, uh, interacting with a blind or visually impaired person? Um, the best advice I can give is don't assume we need help. If we need help, for the most part, we'll ask. You know, um, yes, there's things I need help with, but I might not need as much help as you might think. For the most part, a lot of us have learned how to cope and deal with it and do these things that sighted people just couldn't fathom doing without sight. And I totally understand not being able to understand how we might be able to do something because you rely so heavily on your sight. But trust me, you know, we, we go through rehabilitation um, a lot of us go through rehabilitation and therapy and treatment and we, we learn how to do these things. So don't assume we need help. You know, if, if we're really struggling, we'll ask. Nine, why did you join YouTube? Well, because my full-time job is as a motivational speaker and, and I also host a television show now, but my main job is my public speaking. I always felt like I was leaving a speech with still, you know, I could do a 15-20 minute Q&A at the end of a speech and I was still leaving with hands up and ask, wanting to ask more. And I just felt like, you know, even in that hour that I was up on stage or, you know, in some cases even less time, I was leaving and with, with an hour or less, I, I'll never be able to fully portray all of myself with you, you know, with my audience. There's so much more to me than just my story. At the end of the day, yes, my story is my story, but past that, I'm just a 21-year-old girl who has, you know, amazing friends. I date like any 21-year-old girl would do. I love Starbucks and tea and yoga and my dog and shopping and makeup and fashion and all these other things and having fun and, you know, I'm, I wanted to be able to show more of myself and share more of myself with the people who have already seen me speak live, but to also reach out to people around the world that might not ever have the opportunity to see me speak live and to be able to share my story with them as well. Yeah. 
Final question. Um, question 10. Name three people to do this next because I didn't look at this tag before or I didn't read the questions before I sat down to film this video because I wanted to be as authentic as possible. I can't think of names off the top of my head. So um, I'll think of three people hopefully and link them down below. But in general, I know a lot of blind and visually impaired people watch my videos, so if you are blind and visually impaired, because I guess you kind of have to be to do this VIP tag, um, and you make YouTube videos or you write a blog, then feel free to do this tag as well. Um, I will write all the questions down below in the description box, just copy and paste them, write a blog and post it, post it on YouTube, tweet me if you've done it, I want to read the blog, I want to watch the video. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me for another video. Send me questions for an RP Q&A video. And that's all. Bye.